Breaking from overnight, a ride home from Broadway turns dangerous. We're now hearing of the second fake rideshare driver this week, and this time the driver made some violent threats. Serious stuff. Yeah. This all happened on First Avenue downtown around 2.30 this morning. News 4's Rebecca Gardness is live downtown this morning. She's on Broadway. Rebecca, how did this happen? Well, this guy approaches a car, car pulls up to pick him up, and he thinks it matches the description for the one that he's waiting for. And I do want to make a clarification here. Police have not confirmed which ride share that this man called for. Well, once he gets inside the car, the man says he has a gun. The driver does, starts threatening the passenger, uh, and he gets away with this man's wallet even before taking off. Well, the good news is police were able to catch up with this driver later. They arrested him and one other man once they located the vehicle a little later this morning. Well, this story is eerily similar to a woman we spoke to last night. She and a friend called a lift on Broadway. But once the driver kept taking wrong turns, they asked to get out of the car. He didn't let them out until they threatened to call police. It's not like this guy was going to make money from us being in his car or from me being in his car by myself. But that like, what's the other motive then? Like, why would you pretend to pick somebody up? And why would you pretend that you're a, an Uber or Lyft driver, or a taxi driver when you're not other than to do something horrible. You know, and I think the scariest thing about this is that this relationship, you know, with a rideshare driver is really based on trust. And a lot of us are trusting just based on seeing that sticker on the front or back of their car. Well, we've got two ways to protect yourself that rideshare and companies recommend. Super important if you take rideshare a lot or someone that you love does. They say you should also check the license plate. It'll be listed in the app once you call a ride. And also make sure that the driver looks like the picture that's offered to you inside of your ride sharing 